China just surpassed the US again. It's a new deep seek moment with Kimi K2's thinking model. It's a new state-of-the-art open weight model by Moonshot AI and it's super powerful. It basically beats GPT-5, Claude and Grok4 on many different tasks. It's a 1 trillion parameter model with a mixture of expert of 32 billion active. So it's super efficient for multiple reasons. First, because it's much smaller with only 32 billion parameters active compared to the 1 trillion total parameters and for other reasons I'll mention at the end. Other than that, it's a 256,000 token context window which is huge and amazing in this type of model and it's also trained to interleave tool use and thinking which is currently done for proprietary models but it's really cool to have this done for open models making it really powerful and consistent for super long reasoning and super long coding tasks. It can do up to 200 or even 300 tasks successfully without starting to hallucinate or enter in weird loops. One of the coolest results it has is that it beats Grok4 on Humanity Last Exam benchmark, which is potentially the hardest benchmark out there for language models, and it does that while requiring less than 0.1 percent of the total training cost of Grok4 by Elon Musk's team. So it's really cool. And not to mention that Moonshot AI is worth less than 0.5 percent of OpenAI, yet they managed to build this powerful system and make it open weight for all of us. So honestly, it's really cool and I'm super excited about China's route with open models. And finally, the coolest part, which makes the model super efficient, even more than current best state-of-the-art models, is the fact that it was trained with quantization aware training, so it's natively using int4 rather than fp8 or even fp16 or fp32. So it's super efficient, up to two times more efficient than fp8, and makes it have faster generation and requires less compute to host. It's also really cool that they actually used this version of the int4 quantized model for all the benchmark results, rather than typically using a better non-quantized model for benchmarking and then quantizing for our use. Here, it was fully trained with quantization in mind, so the benchmark results are the results we get. Of course, we need to try it with our own applications, but still, this transparency is really cool to see. And lastly, it's super cheap, up to six times cheaper than the leading models out there while having similar results, and you can do all the different things that a very large model can do. For example, here with a one-shot prompt, it did a whole crime pattern analysis on the Sherlock Holmes books. Here, the thinking model did everything on itself. It researched, analyzed, visualized data, and finally coded by itself this whole web page to show the results. It's very impressive and just one example of how you can use it. I definitely recommend to try it. Let me know what you think compared to the other leading models out there.